Um, so this is Seven Rolly Things, um, D and D. I'm Christine, the DM. Um, this is Sam. I'm Sam. I play Flanders. Um, Pam. Hi, I'm Pam. I play Taze. Uh, Louise. I'm Louise. I play BC. And Andy. I am Andy. I play Cast. Um, when we last left off a few weeks ago, um, the party had arrived at Lake Horus um, and found a small um, fishing community who seemed to be under a great deal of stress and living in fear of creatures coming out from the, the lake. Um, fish monsters that um, Effie had described and they had been giving little offerings to the um, the fish monsters in order to um, placate them and hopefully let the have the monsters leave them alone um, the party then found, uh, tried to lure one out with an offering of their own um, of food and managed to capture said fish monster, um, interrogating it a little, um, finding out that there is an entrance to some sort of quote unquote hidey hole um, out in the middle of the lake. Um, and uh, there is. Um, a good deal of um there's a and he, there there was a a great deal of uh talking about about a um some sort of thing that he uh worships um called blibdul poop who uh <laughs> um and he was not entirely um uh, it, all there. He 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 was a bit crazy, and um, they decided to go out into the the lake and get him and and go take his advice and go find that hidey hole. Um, Kess decided that even though the rest of the party had um, wanted to just leave him behind. Um, that he was a little too dangerous to keep alive and um, proceeded to try to dispatch him. <laughs> and after multiple stabbings, he eventually perished. Well, that's Long, the most elegant slow, killing. <laughs> painful death. So after that... That fine display, the party is now on their way to the middle of the um, lake on a fisherman's rowboat to um, to go see what this uh, this fish monster was t talking about. Um, so who is rowing? I now make oh. Flanders. Um, I can row. <laughs> Well, you're probably, well, no, you're not necessarily the strongest, but um, you are very strong, so. Yeah, I have big arms. <laughs> so, um, roll me an athletics check. Okay, Flanders. what do I, is that a d20? Yep. Okay. Oh, my phone locked, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> What's this phone you're talking about? I got a five. Is what they call the chocolate? And oh, then okay. I'm supposed to add something though, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. You're proficient in athletics, so it's another five. So, so ten. Ten. It's uh, it's not your best display of athletics, but you managed to get them everybody going. The the boat is pretty full of people, so um. <laughs> You, um... This is so embarrassing. I'm usually better at this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you managed to, um, 
it takes you a little while. It takes you the better part of um, half an hour to row that far out. Um, hold on, I've got to be able to move things. Um, so it takes you out here toward you. You manage to reach the the mounds, and um, as you row closer, you begin to see that uh, through the clear water that it's shallower here, as if there had once been an island that flooded over at some point in history. Um, mm. The mounds that Taze had spotted um, in the last session uh, rise from the water about three feet and contain two dark burrows and it looks kind of like the holes of earthworms um except they're huge they're five or six feet wide each so and you can get out of the boat and you will be able to stand in the water okay i was gonna say is there a place for us to kind of bring the boat up so it won't float away on us um there's not really a great place to moor the boat um you can sort of there's some rope in the boat and you can um there's some rocks that you can tie it to but it's not a hundred percent guaranteed that it's going to stay that um that way so. i'm really hoping we don't have to swim back <laughs> uh yeah especially if we have like you know kidnap people to bring back with us yeah why don't I just go ahead and tie the boat to a rock? Okay. Um, and I'm not gonna have you do a check for that. I'm, you know. I'm... Oh. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but um, there is, it the rocks are slippery, so there is a possibility that it may come loose <laughs> at some point. So. Oh no. Okay. Um, do you guys leave the boat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Does it take a moment to tie the boat to a rock? Okay. And then you're standing basically at the mouth of these t two big burrows. Um, okay. Right, there's one here and one here. Okay. Um, so either of them could be, lead to the hidey hole that the, the fish monster was telling us about. Yeah. Um, you can look inside if you like. Yeah, I'd like to, can I do an investigation check to see if I can, like, get any sense or anything? Like, smells that are coming up from one of them? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Um, I mean, it's, they're big and it there and it's not too hard to s sort of detect um a sort of fishy sort of smell um from from both of them um mm -hmm. and but they're really dark so if um you do have um a dark vision so you can kind yeah. of see um that it's hard to see but that there's it, it the, that both of the burrows lead, drop down um, into a tunnel. Um, but that's as far as you can see with your um, dark vision. A tunnel that connects, like they both end up in the same location? Yes. Okay, well then it doesn't matter which one we go down. Yep. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to, uh, I'm going to need a torch because I can't see in the dark. Um, I believe uh, the fisherman may have given you one. Yeah, I have yeah. a couple. Yeah. So I'll light a torch. Okay. Um, so did you want to drop down? Yeah, I yeah, will. Yeah. I'll take up the rear so that way I don't, that way my torch doesn't. Uh, get in the eyes of the people who can see in the dark. Um, makes sense. Well, when you approach the burrows, um, you can see, um, 
you can see now that the it does drop down the that the tunnel slopes downwards at a steep angle for about 30 feet before you can no longer see where it goes um you can see that the um it's about it's a pretty good drop it's about a 10 foot drop and um the floor of the burrow is uh, of the tunnel is covered with a few inches of moving water um just sort of from what has been sloshing up from the lake. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, I guess I'll take the lead since I can, I can, you know, check for traps and stuff as we go down. Okay. Um, everybody dropping down, um, make me, um, a acrobatics check to see how well you land. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I got a seven. I got a thirteen. Uh, let me see. What and you then add to my this. acrobatics, I th I think I'm proficient in that too. No, you're not, but oh. you do add one. Okay, so fourteen. Okay. Oh. Um, I got twelve. I think um, I add I add two to mine. Sorry, so I got nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I got seventeen in total. Okay. Um, everybody but Bissig makes a very graceful <laughs> sort of landing. <laughs> oh, oh no. Bissig sort of stumbles a little bit, um, on the landing and, um, suffers one point of damage. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bissig, okay. are you alright? Ouch. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta see how well Effie does. Ooh, that's not good. Oh no! <laughs> what you get? She rolled a six. I have to see what her acrobatics is. Oh, ten. She just barely makes it. Uh, um, so oh no! <laughs> she just barely makes it. She she catches herself and goes, "Whoa, that was close." Are you all right? Is you okay? Uh. I need to walk it off. Uh, yeah, I, I, you, you mm. don't seem too, too... I'm fine. Yeah. All right. Um, <sighs> well, this is exciting and dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Where'd the cat come from? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. There's two chasing around, two chasing each other around over here. Aww. One meowing over his head off over here. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right into Mine decided our this is time to start fighting. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Um So um you guys wanna keep going? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sure, okay. let's go. Alright. Um so <laughs> so you walk and you you slip quite a lot. It's a pretty s steep, um, uh, it is a steep s tunnel that just keeps going downwards and downwards. And, um, and Effie is kind of having to catch herself every now and then. Um, but, uh, it's, and, um, you walk for about 20 minutes before the tunnel levels out. Um, and if he says, I am not sure if I should be here. It seems dangerous. And she looks up at Flanders and says, you are a paladin. Will you protect me? Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. And she Aww. doesn't say anything more as you continue on for another um for another five or ten minutes um i'm gonna i'm gonna check for traps as we go okay um roll gonna... an investigation check okay Ooh, nice that, yeah that is a 20. um you <clears throat> everything here seems pretty it seems fine right now um it's it the 
you don't see anything weird about it and it, it from the looks of the the tunnel it looks like it's just it's just m lots of mud lots of water um and just slippery it, there's no tracks right here does it, does it seem like a naturally like like eroded tunnel or does it seem carved it seems carved like someone if you with that investigation check you can see that the the sides of the tunnels um, have like these sort of grooves in them, like something had been just sort of digging and digging and digging and had dug out this whole tunnel okay. that goes on for a good long while. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> you continue onward for another, um, a hundred feet before you reach a narrow chamber. Um, let me switch you over. Um, I'm glad these tunnels are tall enough that I'm not hitting my head on things. Yeah. Same here. Yeah, there, it's, you, it, there, um, the tunnel is about about eight feet tall, so um, it it it's even able to um, to accommodate Bissig, um, who is the tallest of you all. Um, so you're in this near. Hmm? How wide is this tunnel? It's like it's circular. It's, eight feet tall. it's circular, oh. so it's sort of it would be it like it's eight so feet it's in same. diameter. Okay. Um, so you reach this um, narrow chamber and it opens up and it's about 15 feet wide and its walls are no longer wet packed earth but hewn stone. Um, the water still pools at your feet making your footsteps splash. Um, it's dank and dark and it smells like a combination of rotted fish guts wet earth and disease sort of like that mm. that kind of um sickly s smell that you can get from going into hospitals or to uh somebody who's been sick for a long time's room um there are pillars about 30 feet ahead of you um and that stand on either side of the chamber and th that's um these things. Oh, hold on. Too many windows. I think it's safe to say this is the uh, creepiest place I've ever been. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty horrible. Oh, the smell is making me gag. Yeah. I'm looking for a cloth in my bag to tie around my, my face so that it doesn't go straight up my nose. Okay. Um, so you see these pillars um, here and here. Um, and that's at the far side of the room from where we are? Yes, the, your entrance is here. And actually, I will move you guys. Um, what's oh, the marching order here? Taze is in front, yes? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I'll just sort of pile you guys in. Um, and then Effie and I are at the back because we're the only two who can't see in the dark. I think... The Bissig, do you have um, a night vi or dark vision? I think so. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. So there you guys are. Um. There's. Uh, Excuse me. So there are these pillars. Um. And the pillars are carved in the shape of eel-like creatures with circular mouths that are filled with rows upon rows of nothing but teeth. Um, their shapes end in four tendril-like tails and a sharp fin at the end of the main tail in the middle. Um, these um, statued pillars, though beautifully sculpted, um, they appear to have been defaced. Um, it, 
And you, you can see even from far away that um, they've been sort of roughly chipped away to depict hips and breasts and a shelled set of shoulders. Caught. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems so wrong. <laughs> um, so what would you like to do? Well, I guess... Um... I'd like to go up and look a little bit closer at one of them. <laughs> okay. Same. Uh, me too. Right. <laughs> Everyone's very interested. <laughs> In a grossed out kind of way. <laughs> yeah. I'm staying by the entrance. Oh, okay. And Effie's oh. staying by you. Um... <laughs> We're all just perverts. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to see with these? Statues? How have these been defaced? Like, have have they been painted over or actually like sculpted on top? They um roll an investigation check. Okay. Oh, well. Uh. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Clear that. <clears throat> Twelve. Twelve. That that's yeah. fine. Um. You notice that there's like grooves in it. Um, and it's not like with the tunnel that um you you saw just sort of smooth kind of um grooves in it. These are like little chips and it looks like somebody actually chiseled it those are Someone some groovy statues very hard on <laughs> uh, um artworks i'm i'm not going to make any judgments but i'm ready to move on <laughs> <laughs> Aww. i'm kind of wondering like just what creature is it? It's weird. <laughs> um, can I roll for that? Um, <laughs> roll an intelligence check. Eight. Uh, that's <clears throat> that's eight. definitely something I'm not rolling. Um, just nine. <laughs> nine. <laughs> um, I mean, just from the look of it, like you can. It looks like, um, it just looks to you like it was one creature. You don't know what it was, um, but that it was one creature before the statue, but it, somebody, for whatever reason, wanted it to look a s different way. <laughs> I can't really see anything, and the smell is terrible. I... Kind of wondering if I can hear hear anything. Um, would you like to do? I will. I think that's a perception check. Yes. Where's my? Here we go. Oh, I I'm not gonna hear anything. I I got a. I rolled a five. Five. Uh, let's see what your perception. Um, that's an eight in total. Um, you, you don't hear much. You just sort of hear is sort of splashy sorts of noises coming from further down the chamber. Okay. Well, I guess we should move further on into the chamber then. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, move forward. And there's another area um, that you can see further, further in. Um, Ooh, what's wrong with me today? Ooh. And, um, everybody roll perception checks again. 
That mysterious yeah. music isn't really playing anymore. Oh, I forgot to put it on. <laughs> uh, 19. 15. I got... What? Oh. Uh, uh, I got a 19 as well. Nice. 16 plus 4, um, 20. Okay. So, everybody can hear by now that there are splashing footsteps in the next room ahead of you. Um, to your left, um, right here, there is a door. Um, and this okay. here is open. Okay. Um, I would like to go up to the opening and just kind of peek through, like hang off to the side and look around. Oh, which the, side? To the, the left edge. or the right? Um, to the right. Okay, now that's yeah, like that. really loud. Yeah, that's really loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's that epic. <laughs> um, it's more like the sound of like, the beginning of a 1980s. I'll change pop show. it. Jeez. <laughs> Next is Night Rider. <laughs> so critical. <laughs> um. Hey, what's everybody else doing? Um, oh. oh. I'd like to investigate the door on the top. Okay, I'm gonna put you right on top again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can, can you describe this to me again? Um, so you're in a smaller chamber. Um, there were, um, you went between the pillars um, into a smaller chamber. To the left is um, is a is a door. Um, it's closed, and ahead of you is an opening, and you can hear. You can hear. Um, uh, footsteps in that direction. Okay. Um, I want to break the door. You want to break the door? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I see what's going on before he does that? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, do an investigation check. Just in case. Ah, <laughs> uh, 15. Um, yeah, you can see now that there are, there is another chamber, and there are four uh, fish monsters, Kuotoa. Um, st there's two standing guard at, at another door at the far end, and two here, oops, uh, here, come on. <laughs> Cooperate. I don't know. There, and there um who are pacing and at this point they are moving and flanders is moving towards the door oh, i would like you to I bash hate... down the door and then everybody roll initiative <laughs> <laughs> oh, i'm like no don't <laughs> you guys are all like kind of on top of each other there <laughs> This, and I'm uh, all alone over here. <laughs> this door seems like it's hiding something important. <laughs> Alright, um, roll. I guess that would be just a strength check. Okay. Well, roll, roll an attack, I guess. Yeah. D oh, so, d d20? Yeah, d20. Okay. No, oh, I'm not going to break down the door. I, I only rolled a six. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Everybody oh. heaves a sigh of relief. So that's an, a total of 11. Um, oh. You you hit it. It's a door. Um, <laughs> I guess roll damage. <laughs> uh, what does one roll for damage? Um, 1d8. One. <laughs> so, so it's more of a knock than an actual like banging on the door. Because <laughs> that's a total of uh, four there. Um, you, you see a few splinters come off, and you know, uh, but 
but there's you there's some noises from the other side of the door. Oh, okay. Dana, we're here. Um, now roll initiative. <laughs> oh dear. For you, that's a plus one. Okay, so that's the d20 plus yeah. x modifier? Yes. I got a 13. 13 total? Yes. I got a six. I rolled a one. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so Flanders is 13. Yep. And then Effie's got a roll too. Yeah, I know. Ooh, 19 plus Ooh. 3 for Effie. So that's 22. I also have 22. Oh, uh, very nice. No. <laughs> you I don't to want go to go first. first. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> well, Effie can go first if you want. Um, so yeah. it was um, six for... Um, six for Bissig. Bissig. And one for Kess. <laughs> They're very cautious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So, um, Effie, see, seeing that straight ahead of her through both of those openings is, um, to Kurotoa, <coughs> um, let's see, uh, she would like to do... Um, a thunder wave. You said there are, there are four in there? Uh, yes. There are four in the one straight ahead of you guys. One, two. I have to take a look at this. Um, each creature in a 15 foot cube. Two, three, five, ten. Oh, she has to get right up close to them. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'll, I'll be backing her up in a second. So. Okay. Um, okay, they need to make this constitution saving throw. Oh, so many books. <laughs> um. Oh, they don't add anything. They. Okay, so this this one is pushed back um, uh, 10 feet. So they're sort of right on top of each other. I'm going to put them over here just to make it easier. Um, and they take 2d8 thunder damage. And. is 10 each. Nice. Okay. Um, and she, she yelps and goes, help! And that's the end of her turn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, I'm going to move in. Um, my speed is 30, so what, I can go three? Um, yeah, each of these squares is um, is five feet. Okay, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, good. So that'll put me right there. Okay. And I'm going to attack this one um, that's right in front of me mm -hmm. um, with my short sword, I guess. Okay. And that's a nine. Um, that does not hit. Mm, okay. Um, so you swing with your short sword, and he dodges out of the way, um, and sort of narrowly 
uh, swoops by his head. Ah. <sighs> I'm here, Effie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, next, it is the Kuto's turns. Um, this one, the one in front of you, uh, Taze, takes uh -huh. a swipe at you. Um, that is a... Uh, 10 to hit? Um, this is M14. Okay, great. Um, <coughs> the... This one moves up to Effie. Um, takes a swipe at her. Ooh, that's a 19. Um, Ooh. it... Uh, does a spear attack and, um... Ooh, Effie suffers four piercing damage. Um, and these two come forward. One, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. This one takes uh, also takes a swipe at Effie, and she's. Really seriously doubting her life choices right now. <laughs> oh no. Poor Effie. Um that is a ten which does not hit. Um and this one comes <clears throat> is five, ten, fifteen. Oh, I heard Aww. a kitty cat. <laughs> For some reason, my older one has decided he needs attention right now. Right Aww. now. <laughs> um, and both, this one just comes up. Um, so, this one here um, stabs at Effie with its spear and she it she takes it in the shoulder and goes oh oh huh. little help here uh, and Flanders it's your turn okay um I am going to okay I I am going to move to a place where. Where, where is a, pl is there a place I can move where I can attack basically any of them? Um, let's see. Um, your speed, I think, is also 30. Um, you can move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You can come up, um, right behind, right next to the one, to the one that missed Effie. Okay. <clears throat> But I wouldn't be able to hit two at once. Uh, no. Okay. Um. Hmm. Who is anyone? Is there a place where I can move where I can get everybody in my bless range? Um. Let's see what your bless range is. Um. I think my bless. I think it's twenty-five feet. Um, bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. That's 30 feet. So, um, you can be, let's see, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15. From where you are, where you would be next to, um, to, um, the one that missed Effie, you could get both, um, both, uh, Effie and, um, and Taze. Okay. Um, there's a wall between you and the, um, and this again, Cass, so, you know, and there's only three creatures that you can bless, so. Okay. Um, 
I think. Okay, so okay, so I'm going to move forward, mm -hmm. and I'm going to bless. Yeah, I'm gonna do the bless thing. Okay. And Terry's and Effie. Um, I think you can do it also to yourself if you want to. Yeah, since no one else is in range, mm -hmm. I might as well. Um, and then I don't think I have any bonus actions well, other than that. Well, it's one action. Um, whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll or saving throw. Okay. Um, and that's concentration up to one minute. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And then I'll use my remaining movement to move as far out of range as I can. Okay. Um, so I'll say you came up to here and then um, you can only 5, 10, 15, 20, you can move back about 10 feet to back into the room. The, the first, the middle room. Okay. Oh, you've lost sound? What? Um, says that they, they can't hear anything. Huh. I can't hear, we can't hear them either. It might be a Discord thing? Yeah, because I can still hear our soundboard and stuff. Okay, I'm going to disconnect and then re reconnect. I suppose I don't need to stay in character to talk about our soundboard. No, you do not. Uh, ruh, ruh, ruh. They're okay. back. Oh, okay, great. Oh, there Yay. are the winners. Hello. <laughs> All right. I, it must have been something with Discord because I don't... Yeah, I lost everybody, not just... Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Um, so yeah, um, uh, Flanders has blessed um, himself. <coughs> and um, Taze and Effie and moved back. Um, it, and you don't have a bonus action? I don't think I do, do I? I I'm pretty sure I don't. Okay. Um... Oh. <laughs> it's so annoying tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um... You can Hunter's Mark something okay. if you want to. Okay, but it only it, bene benefits me, right? Yeah, it only benefits you, but um, you can... Um, when on your next attack on that creature you'd get an extra 1d6 and then you would always be able to find that creature if it okay like sure that. i'll 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 do that as my uh as my thing okay um which one do you want to i'll mark the one that attacked effie the one that actually hit her yeah okay um okay hunter's mark um, I will put it on this thing on it. Okay. Um, and you guys are blessed. And you guys. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Bissig's turn. Okay. Um, Let's see, he's pretty far yeah. away from everything oh, right now. Right. Um, I'm gonna move the page a little bit just so that. I'm not sure what his speed is. Um, physics? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna 40. try to check. 40, alright. So, um, I'll move up to. Which one is he? Uh, to here? Is that good? Yeah, that's up to you. Um, let's see. Yeah. Five, and 10, then 15, 20, 25. Yeah, you're fine. Um, okay. And then I'll attack that, that one that's right behind. Okay. 
Okay, so... I'll use my short sword against them. And... Uh... Well... <laughs> I rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, that does not hit. Okay. Um, so, but I do have a bonus action. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, um, unarmed strike. Uh, let me just <laughs> read how that works again. Um... Yeah, okay. An arm strike, uh, do I, st I still need to roll if it hits? Yes. Right, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Three. <laughs> <laughs> what the actual heck is going on? <laughs> like, even with the, even if I add, it's still not gonna hit. Shit. <laughs> well. Um. Never mind. <laughs> so, I, uh, it dodges both attacks and, um, sort of turns towards you and and sort of oh, growls no. in it. A kind of watery growl, like Wah! It's not pretty. Um, <laughs> uh, did you want to... Well, you can... You still have movement, but that um, one Kuto would have an attack of opportunity. Oh, oh my god, that's right. so loud. Uh, Flanders found a bag of chocolate chips. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Where? <laughs> he finds chocolate everywhere. It's like a gift. He invented it's it behind his so shield. <laughs> or behind one of his war hammers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, don't eat what you find in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you want to move or did you want to stay put? Um, I'll move back just to save myself. Okay. Um, um it's gonna take a bite attack at you. You do that. Oh, okay. So that's okay. Right in there. Oh, sorry. Oh. I, I was. I had my hand on it. Um. So. It rolled a five to hit. <laughs> so I'm oh. guessing that misses. Great. <laughs> so it snaps at you while you move past, but you quickly shimmy away and um, and yes. get far enough. Um, it is now Kess's turn. Um, okay. Let's see if I can figure out how to... No, okay. Um, okay, can I move there? Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't seem to want to let me move by myself. That's weird. Um, okay. And, um, I slash at this guy with my short sword? Uh, yeah, you could do that. Go ahead and roll an attack. Nine? Do you add anything? Um, I forgot Let's check. if I'm supposed to. Um, with your short sword, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's plus five. Mm -hmm. So that's a 14. Um, that hits. Uh, rolled for damage. Yay. That's 1d6 plus three piercing. Nice. Four plus three. Uh, seven. All right. Okay, and so you... Um, slash at it and, or, uh, well, stab at it and, um, it goes, it, you hit it in, in its, just below its rib cage and it snarls and, um, do you have a bonus action? Um, um, I think just Hail of Swords, but I'm not going to use that. Okay. Um, did you want to move anywhere? You still have some movement, I think. 
Um, I'm gonna... Um, but it, you, they, it would get a, an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Um, top of the round, it is now Effie's turn again. Um, she is going to... Um, let's see. What spells does she have? Um, hold on, let me see what this does. <laughs> Blade word. <coughs> oh, okay. Um, she she um touches uh her chest and um hums a little bit. <laughs> and um she casts Blade Ward on herself. Um, so until the end of her next turn, she has resistance against bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Um, and then she would like to get the hell out of Dodge and, <laughs> <laughs> um, she moves back here, but both of these guys get attacks of opportunity. Ooh, that is, um... Mm. That is a 21 to hit, so that does hit. Get your face on my top. So that's another minus three. Um, and then this one. That's not your water. <laughs> Our cat okay. is very aggressive. <laughs> The second one just barely misses. Um, the first one bites her in the arm, um, and she suffers another. Th well, that's reduced to half, so she suffers one piercing damage. Um, Does the blessing help at all in those? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh. Oh no, that because the bless. Um, it's for an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends. Okay. Um, but her blade ward does um, give her resistance to the uh, piercing damage. So it was three reduced down to one. So she is down down to ten hit points. Oh. What? Cat knocked over the cup, of course. Of course. Because um, cats do that. This is a cat of chaos that's just randomly rampaging throughout this entire <laughs> battlefield. Um, okay, so it is Taze's turn. Plus 20 to chaos. Um, <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to attack the one that's in front of me and then back the hell out too. So first I'm going to attack um, in the short sword again since I've got that out. 14. Uh, that hits. Yay! And that's six damage piercing. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to disengage. Okay. And where are you moving? I'm just going to go back in the corner next to Kaz here. Okay. Does she get a bonus? That's her bonus to disengage. Oh, no, I'm in for the blast. Oh, oh yeah, well, she like... hit uh, regardless. So. Oh, okay. Um, but don't I get to add the damage? Oh, um, add the d4 to. Oh, it's just the attack roll. Yeah, it's an attack or so. I roll. hit, so it's all good. Yeah, I you are a okay. Yeah. Um, but thank you for the bless anyway. Yes. Uh, then it is now the Kuotoa's turns. Turns. Um. Uh, at the start of their turn, there are two more that come out from this door. Um, oh, shit. From behind. From behind you, um, Flanders. Um, and see what, they see what's going on. Um, this one comes up to Flanders and does an attack. That it a spear attack that is a seven to hit. I'm pretty sure that doesn't hit. No. <laughs> it stabs at you and you just duck out of the way. <laughs> um, 
this one also comes up to you since they're you're the closest. Um, and they're rolling for shit, so that's a <laughs> five hit, which also does not. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just eating some chocolate chips here. And... <laughs> <laughs> You're just snacking away. You're trying to hit me with some spears and things. Um, this one here, um, will come up to, well, it didn't really need to move, so, um, we'll attack Kess, um, also with the spear, um, <coughs> let's see. That is an 18 to hit. Um, yeah, that hits. Uh, you take... Um, three piercing damage. So now there are six of these guys? Yes. <sighs> um, let's see. Do those two new ones have to roll initiative too? Uh, no, because they all have, I had them all be the same initiative since I can't do like, like 11 initiative orders. <laughs> That's just kind of insanity. Okay. Um, this one I guess we're all doomed. Goes up to Taze and makes a bite attack. Um, that is a 14 hit. Um, I am my armor class is 14 so it hits. Okay. Um, you take, uh, four piercing damage. Okay, so now I'm down to 11. Um, and then this one is, let's see. Unfortunately, you guys are just sort of blocking all of the rest of the people. <laughs> so. A little bit of bottleneck going on here. Yeah. So um, this one's going to come up and do another bite attack at um, Kess. But that is a five to hit. Yeah. So um, it does not. Um, and this one's this one in the back is going to um, throw his spear um, at Taze since she's right in front of him. That is a um, a fifteen to hit. That hits and ranged. So that's another four piercing damage. Okay, now I'm down to seven. It is now Flanders' turn. Okay, I have two right next to me, right? Because they just attacked me. Yes. So I'm going. You have one behind you and one to the uh, left of you. So I'm going to do my uh, dual wield to attack both of them. Alright. Uh, mm -hmm. Roll your attacks. Yep. Hang on. Alright, first attack. I got an 18 on the first one. That hits. Roll for damage. What is the damage again? Is it d d8? Uh, it's, yeah, d8... Plus... A D4, isn't it? Uh, no, it's a D8 plus 3. D8 plus 3. So he, he get, took 4 damage. Okay. 
Alright, I'm gonna roll the other one for damage. Or attack. Mm-hmm. And that was a two. <laughs> so I got but I'm blessed, so Um, you get an additional um additional D four. Okay, so the two of them together only added up to six. Six plus five. That's still not enough. That's um that's an eleven. Eleven, yeah. yeah. Um so um you swing towards the one to your left and it clocks him in the his side and he shrieks a little ah! and you turn and try to swing at the um the one behind you and it, it dodges out of the way seeing you coming um do you have a bonus action um other i think other than my movement i don't do i uh, I mean, you can move your Hunter's Mark if you want to. Um, the one that is Hunter's Mark is currently in the other room where in front of, um, in front of Taze. No, I'll just leave it there for now. Okay. Um, let's see. Because uh, all of my magics, I think, are all... Yeah, Lay on Hands is... I, you have to be within, um, uh, you know, touching distance. Um, there's cure wounds, but I don't know if, um, spells. <coughs> cure wounds is also touch, so you would have to be within touching distance. Um, the only people that are currently within touching distance is um, Bissig and Effie. Okay. And only Effie is taking damage, right? Um, Bissig, did you get get to any damage? Just that one hit point. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, when we fell in. Effie's down by five. Yeah. And what's your, what's your health? Um, it's a... Uh, Effie's is pretty high too, right? No, Effie's uh, full hit points are 15. Oh. And sh so she's down to 10. Okay. Uh, I guess I will uh, go heal her then. Okay. Um, lay on hands or cure, cure wounds? Uh, lay on hands, I guess. Okay. Um, lay on hands. So, um, you reach over, hold on, I forget what lay on hands, uh, how many points you have for lay on hands right now. Ooh. Let me look things up. Um, it's equal to your paladin level times five. So, so 15. So you can um, cure her up all but five and still have ten to spare. Sounds good. Okay. So you you turn around and touch Effie on the shoulder and heal her. She is now currently at 15. Um, and you want to stay there? Um... I would like to, um, am I part of the bottleneck? You are at the very back, so you're n not really at, um, part of the bottleneck. Okay, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Um, it is now Basic's turn. Alright, so, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, shoot. Oh no. Uh, I'm let back. me move you back. <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> it went into the area that hadn't been revealed in, yet. You went into the void. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna attack the one right beside, right behind me. Okay. Uh, roll right. attack. Great. Oh, uh, please. Eleven. Uh, do you add anything? Um, is it dexterity? Uh. 
or I think you got the um, pick, don't you? It, if it's a, a finesse weapon, you can choose um, dexterity. If not, it's strength. Uh, finesse weapon. I think. Does it count as a? I think short I... swords are not. So yeah. So that's just so strength and proficiency modifier. Um, strength is three, proficiency is two, so plus five? Yes. Okay, so 16. Okay, that hits. Uh, oh, great. Roll for damage. I no, I could do that. Dang it. Okay. Uh, for damage, I think I can roll with d4. Yeah. It's, uh, no, oh, sorry, it's not d4, d6. d6. And then that's plus two. Oh, wait, no. I can roll d4 if it's unarmed. All right. Yeah. Two, three, four. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> um. Four plus so eight in total for okay. damage. So eight. Um. Let's see. So eight, you. Stab it with your short sword, and um. I dab it. Stab, stab, <laughs> stab. Oh, okay. Stab. <laughs> you gotta you you dab just, it. You just dab its little boo boo. It bruised its knee. <laughs> Do a dab with the short sword. <laughs> you stab it with the short sword. Um, in its torso. Oh, yeah, I wish this was video. <laughs> Um, and, uh, it, and it reels a little bit and clutches its, uh, its stomach. Um, it's, uh, it's looking kind of, kind of on the rough side. Um, bonus action? Right. Um, I can, uh, one second. I can do an unarmed strike. Okay. So. Um, so roll your d20. Um, right. Add four. 19 altogether. Oh, nice. That hits. Yeah. Um, roll for damage. That's a d4 plus two. Yeah. Six. Awesome. And with that, this one is now dead. Yay. Yay good job. You. That's a you punch it straight in the face and, and it reels back. And it's sailing across the room. <laughs> <laughs> you beheaded it with a punch. <laughs> the, in reality, the your, its skull caves in a little bit, but um, that Flanders, is far less cool. Flanders' uh, version of events can be written down for posterity later. <laughs> That's the version we'll tell in the taverns. Um, um, Bissig, do you want to um, move anywhere? Um, sure. We still have um, 35 feet of movement. Okay. Can I, okay, I'm going to try to move. Can I go here? Whoa. There's a music. 5, no, 10. It should be fine. Huh? Mm. That should be fine, right? Uh, five, ten. You sort of scoop past, <laughs> <laughs> past Kess there, but yeah, you you make it around, and excuse me, Kess, <laughs> to save you. Um, and it is now Kess's turn. Um, so each of these squares is five feet, right? Yes. Um, can I cast? Uh, Hail of Thorns, and then shoot an arrow at the one in front of me. Um, you would be at disadvantage since it's a ranged weapon, and um, and he's right in front of you, and you're within melee. You can um, do it. It's just you have to roll twice and take the lower. Uh. 
Yeah, what the hell? Let's, um, I'll just do it. Hello? Yeah, you can- yeah. you can do that. Okay. Uh, I thought the sound cut off again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, should I read what Hail of Thorns does again? Yeah, sure. Um, okay. let's see. Uh, the next time you hit a creature with a ranged weapon attack before the spell ends, this spell creates a rain of thorns that sprouts from your ranged weapon or ammunition. In addition to the normal effect of the attack, the target of the attack and each creature within five feet of it must make a dexterity saving throw. Um, a creature takes 1d10 piercing damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one. Um, I would say, just so that you're aware, that would also hit... Um, that would also hit Kess and Visig. Oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, you can fire at, say, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be this one. You could fire at this one if you wanted, and that would be safe. Mm -hmm. But that mm -hmm. one is not the one that's currently threatening you. Yeah. <coughs> um. Hmm. Maybe I'll just, um, uh, hit the one in front of me with my short sword. Okay. I rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Return oh, no. those dice. <laughs> Uncanny dodge. <laughs> so, um... You can, so you strike at it and it um, dodges out of the way. Um, and you you sort of trip a little bit uh, as you're doing it, but you do right yourself. Um, do you have a bonus action that you wanted to do? Um, <coughs> uh, no, not really. Okay. Um... Uh, now it, it um, did you want to move even though they it, those guys would take an attack of opportunity um no I'm gonna stay where I am okay um it is now Effie's turn um let's see um and she calls out oh who needs healing me Okay. Um, so Through the that... wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So that's within sixty feet. Um, so she moves over here, and so she can see you and casts healing word. Uh, let's see. <coughs> And gives you three points, <laughs> which Thank is something. You. Yes, it's better than not being at seven and back in double digits. Yep, and um, she, let's see, she can move through the space of any creature that is of a size larger than yours. So she can, she's gonna go, excuse me, and crawls right up, <laughs> right up next to you, <laughs> just Aww. sort of next to your legs, and mm -hmm. um, well. casts another, let's see, um, hold on, let me, I forget whether healing word is a, um, bonus action or not. Yes, it is bonus action. So she, um, casts Thunder Wave again, and, uh, let's see. It's a 15-foot cube. 
also, she's trying to get all of these guys. Um, one of them, uh, the first one right in front, um, it, uh, fails its, uh, its save, um, and gets pushed back 10 feet. Um, this one made a save, stays, um, this one also made it save and stays. And, um, I think it was, I'm trying to forget, remember which one you guys hit before. Um, okay, I'm going to say it's this one because it's looking shifty. So this one, he's gone. Um, oh, oh, another one. Because it took, they all took eight thunder damage. Um, cool. 18. This one is also gone. Oh, and thank goodness. Oh, Effie's really, really <laughs> knocking them down. Effie's like the, the, the powerhouse of the team. <laughs> Bards, man. Um, and seven. Um, so this one is looking pretty rough. Um, okay. And so she moves back, uh, five, ten, twenty. So she, she moves back to her little her little corner there and it's like okay all right um let's go team and <laughs> and now it is taze's turn okay well um shoot i guess i'm now that i'm feeling a little bit better i'm gonna go for this one that's directly in front of kess and try and attack that one okay so that is my short sword. Um, that was a natural 20. <laughs> nice. All right. So, um, there you that go. That doubles the damage, yeah. 12. Um, Straight up. And that one is gone. You uh, right. stab it, and it just slumps down completely. It... It, without any resistance whatsoever. Take that, you piece of sushi. <laughs> its entire torso goes sailing across the room. <laughs> Whoa! And then it does. Split. <laughs> um, bonus action? Um, well, the only yeah. ones I have are like the cunning action. So... Um, I think I'm going to uh, just go back to where I was. Okay. Um, uh, here? And, yeah. Um, and that'll do it. Okay. Um, Since I'm still bleeding a little bit. Okay. And these two Kuoto are going to, um, uh, Make an attack. This one behind behind Flanders or next to Flanders. I guess in front of you now. It does not hit. That is a six to hit with a spear. Um, it just stabs at you and and you dodge out of the way. Um, the one in the big room um, is going to make a. Um, Going to come up to, uh, well, it's sorry, Taze. It saw you kill uh, its buddy, uh. and it's gonna make a spear attack at you. Um, 
and that was that's a 14 to hit that hits okay and damage is oh, um it's it's only three piercing damage so okay. what uh effie gave yeah. you back is now gone yeah, again, I lost again. <laughs> It's go. Um, <clears throat> and it is now Flanders' turn. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm only in range of one of these guys, right? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I guess I will <clears throat> transfer my hunter's mark to him. Okay. Or her. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> you. I mean, fish monsters. Yeah, I'm not Who gonna. Can tell? I'm not gonna go take a peek and find out. I suppose. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Up. Oh. Okay, that was a three. Um. So hold on, let me do my D four. So that would have been a 10. So that's not going to hit. Uh, Even plus five? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yep, that does not hit. All right, let me do my other attack. 16. That hits. Uh, roll 1d8 plus three. That's a nine to hit. Uh, er, nine damage? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so you bash it in, um, in the head, and it looks a little dizzy, but it writes itself. Um, and... Oh, wait, but I transferred my hunter mark, right? So yes, so you get another D, uh, D6. A D6. Okay, hang on. Where are you, D6? Here you are. Five. Okay. On the D six. Okay. So it is looking this one is looking pretty rough now. Um and it's looking really rather sort of disoriented. Um and you staying there? Yes. Okay. Um and now Bissick's turn. Okay. Uh, go over here to surround this monster <laughs> and then attack. I think. Uh, So that's eleven. Was that hit? Um, did you add your um plus four? Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, so uh, that does not hit. Um, oh. So it it you hit its armor and it sort of just glances off. Okay. And bonus attack. Uh. Oh, wow, not 20. Nice! <laughs> yeah, very nice. Okay, and then I guess I'll roll a d4. Okay, so roll a d4, double it, and then add two. Oh, shit. Uh, six. So, um, so six total? Yes, okay. six total. Um... So it, so you punch it and it it growls a little bit. Ugh! And why is it the punches that land and not the sword? <laughs> <laughs> um, did you want to do anything? Or uh, did you want to move anywhere? Uh, no. Okay. Nothing, but... Um, and now it is Katz's turn. 
Um, <laughs> I I attack the fish monster with my short sword. Okay. And I rolled a 19 plus... Nice. Ooh, that hurt. That hits. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and they... I keep forgetting which one the D6 is when it's the normal dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I rolled a 4. And um, plus 3, so 7? Mm -hmm. Uh... This one is, uh, you stab it and it's starting to bleed pretty well. He's, he still looks like he could put up a fight, but he's, um, he's looking pretty wounded now. Um, and top of the round, Effie is out of spells. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, so... Chomp his leg, Effie. Chomp his <laughs> leg. <laughs> so she goes, uh, uh, and goes over to this, um, one by Flanders and does our rapier attack. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Nice. With 10 piercing damage. Jeez. Um, so that guy is gone. She stabs it. And... Effie has done about 95% of the work <laughs> this, Seriously. this round. <laughs> she, um... We're, we're the ones who need protecting. Not <laughs> <laughs> she stabs it and says, Die, fish breath! And it is gone. Um, and then goes and hides again. She <laughs> <laughs> hiding from now. <laughs> it's it's just sort of for cover's sake. Reflex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mother always told okay. me, get out of harm's way. Um, <laughs> Good advice. And. It is the now Taze's turn. Okay, well, I'm going to stab this last one um, with the short sword again. And I got another nap 20. Whoa! <laughs> nice. nice. <sighs> so that's eight damage. And that one is officially a goner. Um, officially? How do you want to do this? <laughs> Um, I'm going to um, duck in past the spear and rip its throat out. So <laughs> you duck in, you tear out its throat, and it slumps into fishy sort of remains. Its eyes, just big fishy eyes, just wide open and staring up. And it is dead. And I sink down and go, ow, oh. ow, ow. Um, oh. I'm tapped out. Um, Flanders, can you do anything for for Tays? Yep, I have uh, I have healing spells for everybody. So I have ten. I have uh, I have ten more points left for lay on hands. For lay on hands. Yeah. So, uh, and I don't know what, what's your um, max health, Taze? Uh, 15, so I need 8 to get back to full health. Okay, so that leaves me with 2 left. That works for me. Um, anybody oh. else hurting? Um, I'm at 12 out of 15, but I think I'm okay for now. My finger's still a little sprained from that fall from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Make him fine. Uh, I still um, have that scraped knuckle from knocking on that door. <laughs> um, well, I want to uh, investigate the bodies, see if there's anything to find. I want to investigate, too. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Roll investigation checks. Great. And I got a 23. 
You're cool. rolling really well tonight. I got yeah, a I know. 17. I think, do I have minus? I think I have minus one, don't I? Uh, investigation. Um, yeah. So 16 for me. Um, so you search the bodies. Um, out of, um, all of them, you find, um, uh, an assortment of um, a, one bag of assorted gems. It's a small bag. Okay. Um, that you can get it appraised at some point right. in the future. Um, Along with the brooch and the rubies. Right. Um, you also find um uh seven gold um and uh 33 silver okay and um you find um a you find a um a couple of um of uh decent daggers they're just regular daggers Okay. Um, I'm I'm already I already have daggers, so I'm not gonna bother with those. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're not gonna take them? No. Okay. If they're the same as what I've got now, then yeah. Um, and um, you find um a some small um some small notes hidden in their uh, their pockets. Um, written in Undercommon. It's in their pockets. <laughs> um, who, who, who reads Undercommon? Um, yes, Ken. Okay, um, can you make out any of this? Um, uh, should I roll for it? Um, or... No, you can just read it. Um, they, they say um, they say that, uh, Dual Poop wants the, the vessel um, the uh, this uh, take the small ones, the smallest uh, ones. Uh, um, the um, find the vessel. Um, that's all they say. Okay, so more about this vessel, Effie. It sounds like you might be in trouble here. Oh gosh, I hope I, not. I yeah, I'm a little worried. I forgot to do my accent. I forgot how to do my accent. <laughs> That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, the first note said the vessel's in fell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it said that they've been, uh... Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> my memory's really <laughs> short. You remember where the chocolate is all the time. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, what does the chamber look like now? Um, besides the assorted corpses of Kuotoa, um, it's, it's a, it looks like, um, well, anybody who wants to um, can do sort of an intelligence check. Okay. I can't. <laughs> you can't <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> all right. I wasted all my good rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I used them all up, rather than what Well, wasted. it's where it counts. Uh, I got a nineteen. Okay. Um. So you look around and um. It looks sort of like an entry hall that it, and it looks old. It looks really old. There's um, a lot of um, algae and um, overgrowth of like um, watery sort of plants just sort of clinging to the sides of the, the stone. Um, and it's, um, it looks like it's been here for, ages and ages and that um there's it looks like the sort of place that um where people would just it would go towards a 
very larger, a much larger chamber of some sort. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, there's got to be more if there's they're holding the the people somewhere. So there's mm. um, the door in the middle room, um, and there's a door at the far far room at the far side. Um, this door in the middle room is now open um, because mm. of the Kuotoa um, coming out. It came through. I wonder what's um, in there. Yeah, let's go check that one out first. Mm. All right. Okay, so you guys go over there, and um, there's this room, um, and there are three chests inside. Ooh. I want to open Treasure. the chests. Okay. Um, um, I have lockpicks. All right. I think I do as well, actually. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, let's each try one. Okay, so which ones do you guys want to take? Um, I'll um, take the middle one. Okay. I'll go for the one on the right. Uh, this one? Um, oops, don't want to move it. Um, yeah. So, um, Taze, you find that that one is actually not locked, um, okay. but uh, Flanders, yours is. Oh, okay. Um, what do I roll? I've never lockpicked before. Uh, you roll for your thieves tools. So roll a d20 and add three. Okay. Oh, it's the cat. Chaos cat. I got a 16 in total. <laughs> <That's a catch. laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, you, you, uh, you pick that lock with no problem. Um, and, um, Taze, you open yours, um, it's not even locked, um, Taze and yours, there are, um, three wolf pelts, they're damp, Ooh. but, um, good quality, um, okay. you find another bag of assorted gems, it's a little, little bit larger, um, uh, it's, um, and um, you find six wooden carvings, and they look um, poorly whittled from um, pieces of driftwood. Do they resemble anything in particular? Um, from what you can make out of it, um, they are all of a um, humanoid female form with a crayfish head and claws Ugh. and an articulated okay. shell covering it, her shoulders. I wonder if that's gobble poop or whatever the deity's name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And then while most of the carvings have um, legs, two of them have tendril-like tails ending with a sharp fin, kind of like the um, the, uh, the pillars out front. Yep. I wonder if they're related at all. Yeah. Seems like they might be. Um. Um, Flanders and yours, you find four potions of healing and 12 gold. Oh, nice. okay. Um, cool. I will, so the, how many of us are there? There's, uh. There's five of you. Five of us. Um, okay. I will hand out, uh, potions to people. Yay. Yeah. Um. Has anyone opened the chest on the left yet? No. Okay. I want to open it. Okay. Um, Bisig, you go over to um, to um, unlock it and or to open it and it is locked. Okay. I. Uh, does she have thief or he have thief tools too? Uh, no, because he is a monk. I don't. Normally, Can you I wouldn't either, but you decide things. <laughs> <laughs> you want to punch it open? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Roll an attack. I'm okay. looking forward to this. <laughs> do, do I? Oh, okay, attack. 13. Oh, wait. I have to add stuff. Uh, it hits. 
It's a test. <laughs> you know where it is. <laughs> it's not moving. Okay. Roll an attack. <laughs> damage? Or damage, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, four, five, six, so eight. Eight. Um, you, you crack at it with an, you punched it open, right? <laughs> you punch it. <laughs> it's it's dented but it's not fully fully broken yet um may i try uh opening that no i i have a i have an extra (laughs) okay go ahead he has two fists it's uh (laughs) exactly okay um uh six uh, plus like three, so nine. Was that to hit? To hit. <laughs> okay, yeah, it hits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and damage is um six. So you managed to bust it open. <laughs> wow! Um, look at those! Look at those knuckles. splinters sailing across the room. <laughs> you do get another. <laughs> You get another point. Uh, you get a point of bludgeoning damage from oh, <laughs> for your effort, though. Okay. Down to eight. All right, what's inside? Um, you find, um, <laughs> uh, you find a bag. Um, it looks like it's got a face on it, but um, and it's uh sort of stitched into it, and it's a nice uh bag. And um, you find another three plain daggers and 50 silver. Oh, nice. Uh, I guess I won't take the dagger since my fists are more than adequate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need daggers. You know what? I actually, I am going to take those other two daggers because I, I oh, feel like sure. I can sell them later. All right, here you go. Um, I want to also point out that if you wanted to throw things without having to worry too much about picking them up later, you can use yeah, them for that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. <clears throat> um, also, I have been trying to keep track of like the gold and silver. I figure it would be easier to just kind of distribute it all once we get out of here. Mm-hmm. So if you want, I... I <clears throat> can hang on to it all and then you know we can distribute it equally once we're gone okay so there was 30 silver in that right 50 50 oh, okay so that's 83 <coughs> and then flanders you got 12 gold pieces was it yeah okay and then i gave out the uh potions the of healing, healing potion, to everybody yeah. um effie didn't take one because she has um, healing spells. That's why I didn't want one either, so... But I mean, I guess I'll keep mine. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. So, um, I guess we can proceed to the other door now. Did you wanna, like, rest up a little bit or something? I'm tapped out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I need to, uh replenish some of my magic yeah i think you used yeah. i think you're tapped out of spells too because i think um, you used all of your spells why don't we yeah. all stay in here so that if uh if some of the more of the fish monsters come by they won't see us right away okay so you want to go into the um the chest room yeah okay mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> all right um so you take a short rest um Forget what. Um, if you guys wanted to, I know you guys just healed up, but um, if you wanted to um, get back any of your um, hit points from with hit dice, you can do that. Um, I think it's like half your hit dice or something like that, or one hit dice. I just have one damage, so I'm cool. Um, Does a short rest give me back my magic? Uh, I'm trying to find out how much of, uh, how many spell slots it gives you back. Short rest, see resting. That doesn't help me. Resting. Where are you? 186. Um... Uh, 
I would say I'm not, I mean, it seems like it's silly that you wouldn't regain some of your spell slots, but I would say you can regain one spell slot just for, as a house rule. Okay. But that would mean Nephew would only gain back one slot as well. Yeah, but it, to regain all of her spell slots, she would need to take a long rest, which is like eight, six to eight hours or something like that. Oh, I see. Um, I rolled a two, so I get one hit point. Um, okay. no, you it, you get um whatever you rolled. For your um, hit dice, you gain it back. Okay. Hit dice? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got all of my HP back. Okay, good. I only lost two points. It says, a character can spend one or more hit dice at the end of a short rest up to the character's maximum number of hit dice, which is equal to the character's level. Uh, for each hit die spent this way, the character rolls the die and adds the character's constitution modifier to it. The character regains hit points total to the, equal to the total. The player can decide to spend an additional hit die after each roll. A uh, character regains some spent hit dice upon finishing a long rest, um, as explained below. So once you use your hit dice, you can't use it in, again until you finish a um, a long rest, basically. Landers is <clears throat> fitfully dreaming of finding these villagers. It feels so close that it's just invading his dreams now. Aww. You're, you're Aww. sleeping in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what? Because it's an hour rest. It's it, a short rest. Yeah, so, you yeah, can still have dreams, though. Oh, I see. Okay. Just waking dreams? Um, I take a pack of cards out and start, you know, playing solitaire or something. <laughs> the time. I know when I nap, I have the most vivid dreams oftentimes. So. That's true. Okay. Sometimes that happens. I have this a, just meditates. I have a negative two constitution modifier. <laughs> 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 oh no. How did yeah, that happen? happen? I, think that, I think that might have been the cursed dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, um, minus two, and then I rolled a two, so what? <laughs> <laughs> Do I just get zero? Don't yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wow. Imagine you lose health when resting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I would say then you would just like not. <laughs> it would count as zero. <laughs> um, okay. So um, you finished your short rest. Um, you sp spent an hour just sort of sitting and relaxing a bit. Um, nothing happens and nobody comes your, your way. There's still that fishy, diseased smell in the air. No, right. Uh, I guess um, I'm eager to move forward. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay. Let's go. All right. Um, so you guys move towards um, this door here? Yeah. Okay. And I will open it. Um, you, anyway. you find that it is locked. Okay, now I get to use my lock picks. <laughs> okay, so that's a d20 plus... Um, d20 plus... For you, it is five. Okay. So that's a, a whopping seven. 
<laughs> you, uh... My lock picks break. <laughs> no, well, you, you wiggle it in the door, and, um, and you, um, you, it, it doesn't, it, you just can't get the, the pins to move the right way, um, you can try it again if you like. Yeah, I'd like to. Um, you can just click on the thieves tools, um, thing in your... Oh, okay. That's better. 13. Um, so with a little bit of fiddling, um, you managed to get it unlocked. All right. And I will open the door. Um, as your hand touches the, pull, turns the handle of the door, um, a you feel a prick of something. Um, oh, crap hitting you um you suffer one piercing damage and five poison damage oh, no. just when i was thinking i should have checked for traps okay oh. <laughs> um also make a dc 10 constitution saving throw so. okay so that so that's a 10 okay you just make it you you manage you you feel it's try to take hold of you but it um but it's it doesn't affect you as uh, as much as you think it would have and it you sort of shrug it off um you would have been poisoned for 15 minutes <laughs> but you're okay <laughs> <laughs> all right um yeah uh door's trapped <laughs> but not anymore now i don't think <laughs> so it is now open okay um, so, okay. Um, shall I offer to carry you on my back? Are you okay? Um, <laughs> I'm all right. Um, I, I can hold out for right now. Okay. Thank uh, you, though. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> so, you guys go through the door? Yeah. yeah. Um, you reach this sort of, um, curved hallway. Um, I just used the same map and... Um, <clears throat> it's, it's about the same size as the corridor, um, before, um, but it just sort of curves off to the right a little bit. Um, it's, looks pretty much the same as, um, as, uh, the previous, uh, rooms is stone, um, covered in algae, um, and, um, yeah. And there's a passageway at the far end, just uh, there. There's a sort of narrow, um, uh, sort of opening. Algae. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Are are, are we still pressing forward? We. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna check for traps as we go, though. <laughs> okay. Um, roll an investigation. <laughs> happen again. I've learned my lesson. That was a twenty. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, nice. So you look around and you see nothing on the floor, but as you glance up at the ceiling, um, you see um, these sorts of. Um, oh, and I'm trying to make it appear, and it's not. You see these sort of green slimy shapes um, on the the ceiling. Okay. Um, it it is here and here. Okay. Um, well, I point them out to the others. Uh, I don't think we should walk under those. Okay. What um, are they? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, they're um, they're bright green and they look wet and maybe sticky, and it's just sort of clinging to a patch of the ceiling. Ugh. So it definitely looks different from everything else. Yes, around like it. ceiling yeah. boogers. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> my roof children. <laughs> oh my god. 
Um, okay, yeah. So you're going to walk and avoid those things? Yeah. Okay. No, we're going to walk right on your legs. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> double checking. Jeez. <laughs> okay, where are you guys headed um, towards the opening there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wrong layer. This thing's a little complicated. Wrong layer. Crap. <laughs> Why do we even have that layer? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, um, Where's your layer, Crunk? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, you um peek inside of the yeah through the just, just looking through without going in yet okay um you can see about through to there um before um you can't really see around the corner yeah um there's night vision only goes so far well um Flanders still has his torch and he's behind you and you can no, see through. No, I mean, through. I can't see around corners. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, can we hear anything? You, you hear, um, well, do a, do a perception check. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. And actually, I'm going to listen too because that's really the only sense I have. <laughs> uh, uh, do I add anything to perception? Proficiency? Uh, let's see. Or... You are not proficient. You it's your your perception is zero. So. I got okay, nine, never mind. So... so it's just it's just ten then. Okay. Um what's what was yours? Mine was nine. Um so Because my perception is negative one, right? No, that because it's a wisdom thing, not a oh. intelligence thing. Okay. And you are proficient in it, so it's um plus three. So you Oh, so roll. I got a thirteen. Oh, thirteen? I thought you rolled a nine. No, I rolled a ten. Oh, okay. Um, so you peek around, um, Taze, and you can, uh, and you hear, and you can also hear. Um, you can hear some rustling. There's some movement um, in in the room. Um, a little bit of clanking, um, and you also see um, a head with the light from your torch. You can see a head. There's a bookcase on the. Um, the right side of the sort of chamber that you're looking into. Okay. Um, I want to stealth up to that corner and look around. Okay. Um, roll a stealth for me. 18. Okay. Nice. Um, so you go up to this corner. Yeah. And you can see, um, you can see, let's see, um, you can see there's a, more of a corner that you can't still quite see around from your vantage point, um, but you do see there are two figures in tiny chambers, and they are behind bars. Okay. Um... Well, it looks like these are a couple of the people that we're we're looking for, so I'm going to wave the others to come on in. Okay. Um. All right, and um, actually, I'm going to put planners up here. Um. So you you want to look around the entire chamber now? Yeah. Okay. So. You look around and there is actually another um, chamber, or a, a tiny room in on the end. Um, there, uh, uh, it, and there's somebody else in there, also behind bars. Okay. Um, well, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to go up and start um, trying to unlock one of the, the the one on the left that's closest to me. Okay. <clears throat> Effie, are these the people you're looking for? Uh, let me take a closer look. I can't really make out in the dark. Um, uh, it is, uh, it, it, the, the thing, the bars are locked. 
Um, you open it, uh, that's a 14. Um, you open it pretty easily. It's, um, and, uh, there's a, a halfling girl in there. Um, and Effie darts forward and says, oh no, it's Maybell. And she's just sort of slumped uh, against the wall and her eyes are closed. Well, that's not good. Maybell? Can you... I mean, I hate... Um, Here, take one of my healing potions. I have two now. Well, uh, um... She, you, there's no response from the, from Maybell. Oh, no. Can I, can I, you know, check for a pulse, see if she's still alive? Investigation check. Okay. 21. Uh, she, there's no pulse. She's not breathing. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, Effie. Oh, no. How would you fail that investigation check? Like. Do you check for a pulse <laughs> where you go? <laughs> check the forehead. <laughs> like the bottom the of the forehead. forehead. <laughs> Even I know you're not supposed to touch their elbow. <laughs> it's more for role play sake, because if you get a natural one, then that's hilarious. And then if you get a natural 20, then that's also kind of hilarious, because you really found that pulse. You know. <laughs> you are that good. But, yeah. Um... Effie goes kind of quiet and says, "That's terrible. She's she's only she's only twenty two. Can we investigate and see what uh, how she might have died? Um. Uh. Yeah, you can. Okay. Um. You roll an investigation check now. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna check out the other cells. Are the other people alive? Um, you're gonna have to unlock them out. Um, which one do you want to check first? Um, I'll go to this one. I got okay. a 15. Um, so thieves tools for that. Um, 15 you said? Um, just your roll? No, a 16 for roll and then it's... Oh, um, investigation is... Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so... You find, um, hold on a second. I've got to open up a thing. So you find that there's, um, there are, um, claw marks across her, her chest. Um, there there's no there's not a whole lot of blood there so um it wasn't immediately apparent um you you guess that she had died elsewhere and was brought here hmm. um interesting thieves tools 15 you open that um uh, easily no problem okay um investigation yeah, um Basically goes over and says a little, what do you call it, prayer to, like, appease her spirit. Okay. Uh, let me move you over there, because you are not over there. Okay. Um, Yay. Okay. And I only got an aid on investigation this time. Um, it takes you a while, because you're trying to find the pulse. Um, you do get the sense that there is none to be found. Okay. Oh. And it's a it's a dwarf male, um, and Effie looks over and and sees. Oh no, this one's Dreth. I didn't know him very well, but he uh, he 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 liked to to give people sort of um, trinkets, little metal trinkets that he had made. Um, he he liked to tinker with things. This is terrible. Um, can you open up the last one? Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, and 15 on this one as well. Um, yeah, you open it, no problem. Okay. And then I'll check the woman in here and 17. 
Um, you find you do find a pulse. She she is breathing. Um, Effie, 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 this. I think she's she's still she's still alive. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Um, oh, I think that's Emma. She she's the the, the baker's daughter. Um, oh gosh, and she's um, you see before you is she's a um, a human, uh, girl. Um, she's she can't be more than um, than fifteen, um, sh and she's pretty petite. Um, she's her eyes are closed. She hasn't really um acknowledged your your presence there yet, and Effie goes over and shakes her a little bit. Um, Emma? Emma, are you, are you, are you okay? And Emma's eyes just sort of slowly open and, and goes, Effie, is, is that you? And she goes, yeah, yeah, uh, oh gosh, are, are you hurt? And she, and Emma sort of, shakes her head a little bit and she she has some claw marks um on her arm and she clutches it a little bit and says yeah i i mean they hurt me when they took me a few weeks ago I, but but uh, it, they patched it up i i don't know why um Oh, oh, they're terrible creatures. They're 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 they're, they're fish-headed things, and they're they're mad. They're absolutely off the rocker. They they kept talking, and I couldn't understand any of the words they were saying. But they were snarling, and uh, God, I, 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 please just get me out of here, please. It's all right. We're we're gonna get you out. Bessie uh, offers to go carry them. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I, I think I can stand. I, uh, she they, helps her up then. I'm going to uh, do a cure wounds on her. Okay. Um. Let's see what. Um, so it is 1d8, um, plus your spell casting, so 1d8 plus 4. You said plus what? Plus 4. So 8. And she, she sort of takes a deep breath and <gasps> that feels much better. Thank you. Oh, they, they were, oh, they, there was talk. I, 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 I just, I just want to get out of here. I, I don't know where they took the others. They, they, I, I don't know where they were where they went it there were people it, there there were so many of the, these fish monsters I, I don't know what to, to do thank you thank you for helping me so it's all right it's all right <clears throat> there are uh, two more people left right two more missing people there are Three more missing people. Three missing people. Uh, okay. I have to, so this is possibly a turning point because I need to press forward because that's just how my paladin brain works. But someone needs, needs to take this child back. So that means that would split the party. Hmm. Huh. 
Well, I'm not even sure there's going to be room enough for all of us on the boat anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, so... Well, I... Uh, I... I'd like to... to... Take, I'd like to take you back too, um, but I, I do want to find the other people. Um, Emma, if you do want to go back to your father it, it, right now, uh, you, I, it's s relatively safe in the other room, but I know I would understand if you would want to, to go back right now. And Emma sort of shakes and says, Yes, I'm. I'd like to see my mom and dad right away. It, it, it would be, I, I just want to go home. And, and Epi pauses and sort of looks at Emma strangely. Emma, your mom, your mom's dead. She has been for 10 years. Oh. I've been just so distraught lately. I, 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 I just really miss her a lot. I, I just really want to go home. Please take me home. Can I do an insight check on her? Go ahead. That's perception. No, um, there oh, is insight. Right, insight, yeah. Eleven. Um, you, you don't know her, but um, and it's kind of difficult to tell, um, but something's a little off about how she recovered from forgetting. Um, can I cast Detect Magic? Uh, Ooh. yes. Uh, that's a nat 20. Nice! nice. So, um, you get you feel that there is it's not really magic that you feel um in the sense of a spell but you feel that there's something very spell like it, there's something magical about in uh about her in mm -hmm. her head area it seems localized. How, uh, how would we be able to cure that? Cure what? Uh, cure what's, go what's going on? And Emma says, oh, please, I just, what are we waiting for? What, what are you all doing? Please just take me home. What spells do I have? You have, um, you have Bless, Hunter's Mark, Bane, Cure Wounds, and Wrathful Smite. All fairly violent spells. Except for Cure Wounds, <laughs> but you already <laughs> helped her out a little. Yeah. Um... See, I have a theory, but it's not something that I can I can say in character. <laughs> um, if you want to do, I mean, if you want to, well, what is Pam's theory? Um, is that it has something to do with the madness that's affecting the uh, the Koatoa? Mm -hmm. Um, you but can. Since nobody's actually said, you know, what's that? There's something going on with her. That just that I've got an odd feeling about the way that she said that about her mother. Um, it could just be that she's been locked up long enough that she's, you know, been tortured and hurt. I mean, so, if anybody else wanted to make it an insight check, you're more than welcome to. It doesn't just right. have to be one person. I'll do one. Um, oh, well, hmm. Five. <laughs> <laughs> she seems legit, you know. <laughs> She's traumatized, man. <laughs> this poor girl been locked up. How dare you question her? 
and I'll tell you, <laughs> Flanders is going oh. to do one because he's very disturbed. You also okay. do have um, a, a proficiency in um, insight. Yeah, uh, and so I kind of sense something. I, I'm just very disturbed. I don't know why. I just feel disturbed. So there's something let's... fishy going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I got a seven plus, I think it's five, isn't it, or? It's three, three so, so it's ten. ten. You also get the sense that there's just something, yeah, fishy <laughs> about her, but you can't really put your finger on what it is. There's something fishy going on in these groovy tunnels. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smack you. <coughs> Well, um, if there is something wrong, maybe getting her out of here will help. So I would, I would like to get her back, at least to the fishing village, if nothing else. Well, now I'm kind of worried that that if if we take the magic outside, that it might cause some harm. Uh. Mm. But you know, there's been weird stuff going on anyway, because you said the villagers were kind of indifferent to the fact that they were losing people so I'm wondering if maybe this is actually affecting like a lot of people in this oh. area um do an intelligence <laughs> check me yeah okay oh shoot I can do that 19 um you you don't know a whole lot about magic, but you do know that there are area of effect sort of um, uh, limitations to magic. So, and right. um, the if something weird is going on with the villagers, um, Emma being so far removed from it um, would not be affected by the same magic or at least okay. the same source. <laughs> If there's a different source and it's something similar, you don't know, but it would not be the same thing as what's going on with, um, with the villagers. Right. Okay. Afri, this is your, this is your companion. It's your decision. Okay. Well, Emma, are you, are you sure you're okay? Um, I don't, I, 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 I mean, I don't mean to distrust you, but this, I, I don't want to endanger anybody either. Of course I'm telling the truth. I, I what do you, more do you want from me? I, the, these monsters, they, they were, they wanted something, I, I think, I, but, but how would you know that? You said you didn't, you don't speak under common. And she... I'm taking a step back. <laughs> she looks around at all of you and sort of, sort of, I... I don't know what to say. It's they. I mean, obviously they want something. I'm. They, they wouldn't have taken me otherwise. Please, you have to believe me. I. I need, just need to get out of here. Please take me back back to the village. I need to see my father. Um. Maybe we should just lock her back in the cell because. Um, I wouldn't like to see my daughter in such a state, and she may wind up doing more harm to herself and the villagers if we let her go. Don't lock me up again, please, Lock please. her up? Uh, that's really cruel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure I agree with that either, but I am worried about her. Um, what about if we leave her here for now and then come back after we found the others and we can go back with her? I, 
that I, I wouldn't like to stay here, but it's better than being locked again. Mm. <clears throat> I kind of want to stay with her, but I also don't want to break up the party. Oh, well, I mean, I could stay with her. I, I don't want to leave you alone here, Effie. Well, I, I don't particularly want to be alone either, but... <laughs> <laughs> decisions, decisions. <sighs> hmm. Well, my feelings are weird. Please, if you, you just take me back to the village, I, everything will be all right then. Mm. How about if we just bring her with us for now? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to go towards the creatures? Well, we have to find them. The others. W yeah, we can't leave anybody else behind. Mm -hmm. I can speak under common. <laughs> we can bring her back and then go back for the others. That would, uh... If we did it that way, that would mean that there would be less, fewer people in the boat when we get the others. There would be one person less. Yeah. So how do we proceed? Well, we're going to have to come to a consensus here because it's getting late. <laughs> yeah. I say we should bring her back to the village and then go back for the others. Anyone else? Mm. Um, I'd like to keep her with us in the party until we find the others. Because I'd like to go back with her to the village and make sure that she's all right when she's there. Um, yeah. Also, I'm concerned that if we leave, the fish people will find, like, her missing, plus, like, the dead body of the fish people we killed and, like, be prepared for yeah. us next time. That's a good point, too. Ooh. I find, uh... I find uh, Tay's and uh, Kessa's arguments very convincing. Well, All that, right. that sounds okay to me. Emma, can, can you just be brave for a little bit longer? I, I mean, I can try. That's all we can ask. All right. So, um, you guys, um, want to end it there, or do you yep. want to do anything else? That's two and a half hours, so. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a good point. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Great job. You killed... Uh, six of the Kuatoa, and you found and a chest. Yeah, and found. Oh, yeah, you, and you and you killed the chest. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And attempted to kill a door, but didn't work out. Mm -hmm. um, or attempted to kill me too. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and you found one survivor at least. Yeah, that's good. Yay. Go us. Yeah. And, oh, let's do experience. Um, so.
So, uh, so it's um, 100 base um, plus um, 50 for good RP from everybody. And, um, and then <coughs> what's 50 times six? Uh, 300. And then another 300 from the, uh, from the Kuatoa. Oh, wow. Nice. Yay. That's a lot. Yeah. Actually, that might, what's the, the what do you need, what EXP do you need for the next level? Uh. I think it was. Hold on a second. Yeah, I guess I might have already. Put up. Um, For level the... three, it is nine hundred. Oh, oh, then I leveled. Yep, leveled. Okay, uh, great. Um. Wait, isn't it me who's level three and? Yeah, but they're level two. Oh, they I need gotcha. to be level three. I gotcha. Um, you now we're on your level. Yeah, and there is a it is a long ways for um, level four. So you got some. All right. Um, right. Also, for those of you who just turned level three, um, you each get to pick one feat from the um, from the player's handbook because Flanders got. A dual wielder feat um just from the beginning um mm -hmm. and so to make it equal you guys get to choose a feat as well um and do we get to increase our our um hp yeah you do all of those things um that happens when you um level up so you know for say um a rogue you um you get um, 1d8 plus your constitution modifier um, every okay. time you level up, so. All right. And there's a, you know, it'll tell you in your um, class um, All right. portion of the, the player's handbook to what you add for your hit points. Um, let's see, what, what else? And, you know, whatever, you do get um, some cool abilities at level three also. So it's kind of a big one. Okay, cool. Hmm. And uh, just um, let me know what uh, what your new abilities are and stuff like that. Um, if you needed to choose like a archetype or um, a path for your character, I think um, you can choose. Um, uh, you know, like what sort of focus that you want to do, um, things like that. So just let me know so I know, and also what feet you choose, so I okay. know what you guys are are doing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, this was a lot of fun, and yeah. you got to actually kick some butt. We did. <laughs> <laughs> um and. We'll have our next session in two weeks, I guess. So in on yeah. Oh, uh, let's see, the tenth. All right. Okay. All right. All Sounds right. good. Sounds good. Thank you, everybody. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you.